Hey there, great to have you here. I'm Bernhard Bukiger, and today I want to take you on a little journey into the world of artificial intelligence, or simply AI. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, I've heard about it. I've even tried some AI tools, me too. But let's be honest, for most of us, what's missing is the foundation, the real understanding of what AI actually is, why it suddenly matters so much, and why every one of us should start paying attention. That's exactly what we'll explore today, in a way that's easy to follow and exciting to think about. So sit back, take a few minutes, and let's dive in together. Let's start with the most important question. What exactly is artificial intelligence? First of all, AI isn't a single program or one big machine. There's no single AI that you can just download and run. It's a technology, or better yet, a concept with many different forms and applications. And believe it or not, AI isn't new. It didn't suddenly appear in the last few years. It's been part of our lives for decades, often without us even noticing it. Think about it. Every time you search on Google, get movie recommendations on Netflix, or use maps to find the best route, AI is working behind the scenes. So when we talk about AI, we're really talking about a key technology, something with the power to change the world on a massive scale. Throughout history, certain inventions have completely reshaped society, like fire, the wheel, or agriculture. Later came the printing press, another key technology that changed how we share knowledge. But it only worked because people learned to read. Today, there's a similar idea around AI called AI literacy. It means understanding how AI works, what it can do, and what it can't. Someone who's AI illiterate is like a person in the 1500s who couldn't read, unable to participate in one of the most transformative moments in history. If that feels a bit abstract, think of the internet. In the beginning, it was a niche tool for scientists. Then, within a few decades, it became part of everyone's life and the foundation of our modern world. AI is following a very similar path. So, if AI has been around for decades, why does it feel so new and so everywhere all of a sudden? The answer lies in one specific field of AI, generative AI. Generative simply means it can generate something new, like text, images, videos, music, even code. And this is where things changed. Tools like Checked from OpenAI made AI accessible to everyone. You no longer needed to be a programmer or scientist. You could just talk to it in normal, natural language. You write something like, tell me a short story about Mars, and boom, it responds with something creative, coherent, and often surprisingly good. That low barrier of entry changed everything. Within weeks, millions of people tried it. CHATGPT became the fastest growing application of all time. In a way, AI just had its typewriter moment, that point when a powerful technology suddenly becomes accessible to the masses. You no longer need deep technical skills, just an internet connection and curiosity. And that is why AI is suddenly so relevant, because it is no longer hidden in the background. It's in your hands. Now, let's break this down. How is an AI system like Chat different from traditional software? Take Google search, for example. You ask a question, and Google looks through its massive index, like a digital library, and shows you existing answers. I, on the other hand, doesn't just search for existing text, it creates new answers. It works based on probabilities and patterns it has learned from huge amounts of data. A simple comparison is the predictive text on your phone. It guesses the next word you're about to type. I does the same, just on a much more complex level. During its training, an AI model has seen billions of examples of words, sentences, and images, and it has learned the relationships between them. For instance, it noticed that words like football, goal, player, and ball often appear together. So, if you ask it something about a goal, it knows the context is likely football, not a garden gate. In short, AI doesn't know things the way humans do. 
It recognizes patterns and uses them to generate probable answers. Traditional software follows fixed instructions. If X happens, do Y. I doesn't follow instructions. It learns from data and adapts. That's what makes it so flexible and also unpredictable at times. So let's talk about what AI can do incredibly well and where its limits are. Its strengths are amazing. First, pattern recognition. AI can detect patterns in massive datasets that humans could never process. This is incredibly useful in medicine, fraud detection, finance, and personalized content recommendations. Second, speed and scalability. AI can complete tasks in seconds that might take a human days or weeks, and it can work 24 7 And third, generative ability. AI can create new content like text, images, and code, boosting creativity and productivity. But it also has weaknesses. One is hallucinations. Because AI is based on probabilities, it can generate answers that sound correct but are factually wrong or entirely made up. Another is data dependency. If the data it's trained on is biased or incomplete, the AI will reflect those issues. It also has a lack of common sense. I recognizes patterns, but doesn't understand them like a human does. It lacks intuition and real-world judgment. Then there's bias. If training data contains stereotypes, the AI may reproduce or even amplify them. We also face the black box problem, where it's often hard to see why an AI made a specific decision. Plus, training large AI models requires massive computing power and energy, raising sustainability concerns. And finally, there's the potential for misuse, from fake news to deepfakes. So, what does this mean for you? It means you should use AI, but use it consciously. Let it be your tool, not your master. Always double check, question, and refine. That's the key to using it effectively. Now, let's talk about something that affects us all, the job market. Yes, AI will automate some tasks, especially repetitive, real-based ones. Things like data entry, basic customer service, and report writing are all candidates for automation. But here's the flip side, new roles are emerging. We now have prompt engineers, people who specialize in crafting the right inputs to get the best AI outputs. There are AI ethicists, trainers, and system maintainers. Entire new fields are opening up. Even more importantly, AI will augment us, not necessarily replace us. Imagine an architect using AI to create early design drafts, or a marketer brainstorming campaign ideas, or a developer using AI to write small code snippets. AI can free us from repetitive work and let us focus on more creative, strategic, and meaningful tasks. The key is adaptation, learning new skills, understanding the tools, and using them to your advantage. And that's where AI literacy comes in again. If you understand what AI can and can't do, you'll not only stay relevant, you'll thrive. So where do we go from here? AI will keep evolving rapidly. Models will become more powerful, more versatile, and increasingly multimodal, able to understand and generate text, images, audio, and video together. We'll see AI integrated into our everyday tools, like email clients and design software, so seamlessly that we might stop noticing it's AI at all. At the same time, discussions around ethics, regulation, and accountability will grow louder. Questions like, who's responsible when an AI makes a mistake? What about data privacy, copyrights, and misinformation? These are questions we must answer together as a society. And to do that, people need AI literacy so that everyone can join the conversation, not just the experts. AI is a technology with the potential to reshape the world as deeply as the printing press or the internet did. It gives us tools to tackle massive challenges, from medicine and education to sustainability and science. But ultimately, it's up to us to use it wisely, responsibly, and for the greater good. The journey has just begun, 
and it might be one of the most exciting transformations of our time. I hope this video helped you understand AI a bit better and maybe ease some of your fears about the future. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know if you'd like more videos like this. I'm Bernhard Bukiger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.